Okay, welcome back. Today we are going to do our driving test on 2017.46. I haven't been able to get to it for a few days. I was kind of sick, that's why I might sound a little nasally. Uh, and I didn't just feel very good. So we're finally doing that today. It is a brisk 46 degrees out. It's miserable. I need to go somewhere warm again. So anyway, we're gonna start this test drive and see exactly how autopilot performs. We're going to go actually both to and from on our new road. So this is a little part of the road where actually two lanes converge into one. See how it does. Did fine. That's awesome. I'm really happy to see that. Uh, speaking of which, no hands by the way. Uh, we will have hands over the wheel, don't worry. So, so far so good. I have it just doing the speed limit a little close to the center there. Not bad though, we'll take it. Um, oh, oh, how are we doing here? Oh, oh, it can't decide, it can't decide. Okay, it finally decided. It took the right one at least. That's the good one to take. So yeah, it's just like spots like that where it does kind of break up into a turn lane. Uh, before we used to see it used to pull to the right. This time it actually went to the right, which is how it should have been. Now here it does go into two lanes and it kept us going straight. That's great to see. It didn't even really hesitate to the right, which is awesome. Um, let's see. We'll bump it up to 50 real quick. Just a little passing area right there. See how it does. Okay, here we go. We're good with that. That was actually one of the biggest concerns I have is that road right there. Just because it does kind of split off. But so far it's handling it like a champ, which is great to see. Technically, I don't really know how Autopilot's supposed to do in this area right now. It's not full self-driving yet, so it's doing really well. Okay, yeah, it did actually really well. So we're gonna go ahead and turn it back around, try it the other way. And then maybe just for SNGs, we'll go try our normal curve that we've always had problems with. I'm kind of curious to see how it's gonna be. Oh look, another Tesla, hey! Hi, it's great seeing you. We should do this again sometime. Okay, so now we are heading back the same direction. We'll see if we still take all the correct lanes. That's, I guess, the biggest thing and the one thing that I really want to test on this is do we take the right lanes? We have seen before where we have, but sometimes I've been on this and I've just been playing with autopilot, because why not? And it is kind of, I didn't know what to do, so it kind of waited for my input. And I really like seeing that. This isn't asking for any input from me, it's just taking what it should take. Now here we do have a car in front of us so I wonder if it's going to follow them or not follow them. I guess we'll find out. Okay, we got the hands on the wheel just in case. Now it's breaking up into three lanes. Oh no, that's not the right lane. I'm not... Okay, I had to take over. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that wasn't good. Oh, now it doesn't want to give us auto steer. Come on. Okay. So now it is gonna restrict us to 45, but the speed limit's 45, so it should give us five over, but it is not, so another speed issue. So yeah, like the best time we had through that intersection was the time that I was following a lot closer to a car who also went in the center. So I wonder if maybe that has something to do with it. It was just following that car, and when it broke into three, since this one was so far in front of us, it didn't know what to do. It's still kind of curious to see where they can take that and how exactly it will handle situations like that. Will it always go straight or will it depend? I mean, I would think it would default straight unless you had it navigating somewhere where it would need to turn. So far though, it's doing really well. The only thing is where it splits off into three lanes, which isn't something that I don't think they've ever advertised autopilot as being able to handle just yet. But seeing it on the way there, it was easily able to handle going into two lanes. It's just three, kind of threw it for a little bit of a loop. So just one thing to keep in mind when you are using autopilot, if you're using it not on the highway, just be more conscious, I would say, of exactly your surroundings. Don't uh, 
be reading a book or playing on your cell phone too much. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and drive to the old location with the really tight turn, see how it handles that, and see if there's been any improvement on it. 20 minutes later. Okay, we have no one behind us, so we are in good shape to test this out. Don't wanna have the car stop too abruptly with someone behind us. So we'll go ahead and start dropping it. I think that speed limit sign said 30 on this turn. Keep it at 35. See what the car decides to do. I have my hand here just to make sure I can take over. And I had to take over. We would have hit the guardrail for sure on that one. Might be because we were set at 35 instead of 30. That could be it. So we'll try 30 on the way back and then call it and see what it did. Okay, heading back the opposite direction now says 30 we will go ahead and drop it all the way to 30 our hands here just in case we're gonna do it we're gonna do it we're doing it just fine we only dropped to 25 I think that's pretty much about what we dropped to normally and then I can start bumping this up it is still speed restricted, which doesn't make any sense because speed limit actually did increase. Hopefully soon, these Autopilot 2 and Autopilot 2.5 cars will be able to read the speed limit signs, much like the Autopilot 1 cars are now doing. That way, we don't have to worry about having data that's not up to date. So hopefully that helps you so that you can see exactly how 2017.46 is doing on Autopilot now. I think it's still doing really well. I never expected it to handle all three of those lanes. I will say that, but it did really well on the two lane split. So that makes me feel better. This turn has kind of always been a little bit of a challenge. It is a very tight turn. I did go at it 35 to start. Maybe I probably should have bumped it down to the speed limit, which was 30 and it would have handled it probably just okay. Also too, let me know what kind of roads you wanna see Autopilot tested on and I will find those roads and we will test it out. So yeah, if you are looking for Tesla, feel free to use our website, teslainventory.com. We break down all of Tesla's used and inventory cars in a very easy to search manner. And if you are looking for a new or inventory Tesla Model S or X, unfortunately it doesn't work on the threes, feel free to use our referral code. It is down in the description below or on the very top of the website. Doing so will actually get you free unlimited supercharging for the life you own your vehicle and in turn will help us get certain reward perks. And that's how I'm able to get to all these cool events to be able to report back, kind of bring you guys along. And we are still trying to work towards that next gen Roadster, it's the Founders Series. So any help is certainly appreciated. And if you do use the code, definitely email me because I want to either have everyone fly out here or I'll catch up with you guys on my road trip when I get it. That way you guys can experience the next gen Roadster too because technically without you guys, it wouldn't have been possible. So any help is certainly appreciated. Otherwise, definitely thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Go ahead and click here to subscribe here for some more videos and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I'm gonna die tonight. You can't kill me. I'm